Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about a senseless killing that happened on the DMZ, and it's the 40th anniversary of the senseless, ki senseless killing. The killing took place on August 18th, 1976, on the South Korean side of the DMZ. A, a bunch of thug North Korean soldiers, particularly the thug commanding officer, Lieutenant Pak Chul, who had the nickname Bulldog because of his brutality and ruthlessness, pulled two U.S. Army officers. Captain Arthur Boniface and First Lieutenant Mark Barrett. And Boniface had just around three days to go in his, with his tour in Korea. And then he would have went home, finished up his tour. But on that day, North Korea drugged those two guys to their side of the DMZ. This is back when the DMZ was not heavily fortified. And beat them with axe handles in their boots. And the beating took place for about a minute. And then both those brave U.S. officers died. The U.S. was just cutting down a poplar tree on South Korea's side of the DMZ. So, Kim Il-sung never planted that tree. Even though North Korea claimed that Kim Il-sung did. And they demanded that the U.S. stop the cutting of the tree, stop the cutting of the tree. But the U.S. kept cutting, as was their right to do so. And they pulled, North Korea pulled, Captain Arthur Boniface and First Lieutenant Mark Barrett on their side of the DMZ and beat them to death. They literally beat them to death. And the South Korean government posthumously awarded Captain Arthur Boniface a medal. And Captain Boniface's wife received the medal. This, it was just a sick situation. They were The U.S. was determined to cut the tree, though. And President Gerald Ford, who was president of the U.S. at the time, he called the murder a senseless murder. But they were determined to get the tree cut. So what they launched, a few days later, they launched Operation Paul Bunyan. And the United States flew a bunch of B-52 airplanes over the DMZ. They also flew around 24 helicopters. South Korean Air Force flew some F-5 fighter aircraft, and South Korea also brought their special forces near the DMZ. And these special forces of South Korea had black belts in Taekwondo. Oh, and Hapkido. And North Korea did not do anything. That tree was cut, even though a stomp of the tree was left, and it was left to as a memorial to Captain Arthur Boniface and First Lieutenant Mark Barrett. Just a sick situation, but we need to remember it. And this is this video is in loving memory of Captain Arthur Boniface and First Lieutenant Mark Barrett and their families. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.